hi guys Merry Christmas oh. anyway welcome back to my channel if you're new Karibu Sana if you are an existing subscriber thank you very much um, today as the title says I will be sharing with well, is sharing really new no. I'll just be talking I guess about some of the natural hair habits I think and by that I mean it's my opinion that we should just leave them in 2018. We all know the air, the the ear, sorry, <laughs> is around, is about to end. So that's why I came up with this video. Yeah. I'm going to start with the most important like the most important point and one habit that we should just out straight leave it in 2018 is obsessing over hair type i cannot stress enough about this well i have i i have done a video about why your hair type is not important and i think it was not very interesting for you guys so um it's very very important if you're a natural i think you should check it out i will leave the link there so you can watch it and i have explained about how hair type knowing your hair type is not as important the most important thing to know about your hair is your hair porosity that's very important because once you get to know your hair porosity you get to understand the kind of products your hair needs and it also helps you not to just buy products for the sake of buying and that will follow to the next point that um or the next habit that we should just live in 2018 which is buying unnecessary hair products well um i have been a culprit of that but somehow it's just changing by default and that's because when i was living with my sister we used to split bills so it was responsibilities were lighter and i think i would go to a i would go to her um beauty shop or she would we would be together and we'd be like oh there's a new product let's try it out so it wasn't like because you obviously know that there's splitting of bills so now for me since i'm alone i need to think and I need to decide what's more important, paying my electricity bill or buying a, a bottle of whatever it is that is on the shelf just to try it. So um, I think in economics, let me try to show, to show that I am, I'm zombed. Okay, I think in economics they call it, how do they call it? yeah opportunity cost so it's changing for me so i i make sure that i buy products that i really need and i i think it's a good thing like i discovered um i knew when i discovered that i am low porosity i discovered that i don't need a co-wash because um you you know when you're new you just become overwhelmed by the the variety of products that are there there's a co-wash there's a living there's a custard there's a mustard there's a cream there's a lotion there's a what there's a butter there's a it, you just bombard and you're confused and you don't know where to start and what to do first you need to know your hair porosity then from there try to understand what does high porosity hair require what does low porosity hair require what does medium porosity hair require that is very very important and if you just do that you will not be posting you will not be posting like you'll not be seeing questions like repetitive questions like siri ni 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 siri ni 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 siri ni know your hair porosity and then from there on follow youtubers that have a certain um have a certain type like certain you need porosity ni? what is porosity have a certain porosity follow that follow that certain youtuber that way you will be able it it will be a success and it will be rest, less less frustrating i think i have ni me chapa point home or in the head whatever it is yes 
So um, another habit that I think we should just live it in 2018 is, okay, I know people are going to come to me on this point, but I'm just going to be honest. And that habit is, okay, doing this, um, how do you say it? Like um, using or following this outrageous DIY homemade concussions that you put in your hair um, okay natural hair is about using organic and all that I understand that but there are some other natural kitchen homemade products that are just outrageous I'm gonna give an example of that and I'm gonna give a reason why I am not so much into that I'm going to give an example of the onion juice. Okay, many people have said it works for um, hair loss and hair growth and all that. Yes, fine. If it does, that's not a problem. But I don't advocate for that, especially for those people who have partners. The reason is... I'm just trying to picture in my head that onion smell, how strong it is. Even if right now I started eating kachubari, your smell will not... Even if I brush my teeth, I'll still have that smell. So now I'm imagining you making that concussion, putting in your head, and you expect the person next to you to do it, to, to act like to... I don't know. How do I even explain it? Me, I know you understand what I'm saying. And you... And you just ask yourself, now my partner, my whatever you call it, my buy, is not supporting me in my natural hair journey. Those are one of the reasons, by the way. It's because of the weird smells and... Because you don't understand, what is this natural? This natural means putting, putting those funny, funny things in your head that smell funny and then you just sleep, sleep, you're sleeping next to him there. It feels like oh it's horrible that um that is one thing i need to, i wanted to say also and uh, you also need to understand that um this okay natural hair is about using natural things organic which don't have preservatives and you also need to understand that if it doesn't have a preservative that means it has a, um it 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 expires even if it has a it has like it doesn't stay for long so it gets tail it it gets a weird smell so yeah it's very important to be considerate and what how i don't know how to put that and be real and also be be sensible yeah that's the word be sensible yeah another point or another habit i think it's a habit we should stop is comparing someone else's main to your main that is just something we should not it's a recipe for a frustration it's a recipe of just having low self-esteem we don't want to go in 2018 with low self-esteem it's not good everyone knows it's not good we need to understand that each and every person's hair journey is in is an individual journey and whatever works for you doesn't necessarily mean it will work for me and it's also important for us to understand that this youtubers work is to enlighten us and give us insight and them telling us it works doesn't necessarily mean it will work for you they just they are giving us insight and um, if there's a new product coming, if there's a product and that's why I said in the beginning or maybe in the middle of this video, I said that if you get to know your hair porosity, follow a certain YouTuber who has the same kind of porosity you have so that you can under you can follow them and know those products instead of just following blindly and following this, some of them just are just weird. I'm not even going to mention this one. I just watch any what well, let me just stop at there. Another thing that we should I think this is a habit that we should stop is not have a regime. I have had people say that this natural hair thing is is just too much. 
you have to do anger thought, anger what. During back in the days, our grandmothers or our mothers used to apply this in our head and our hair was growing and it was soft and what. You need to understand. Okay, it might be true. You need to understand that things are changing. If your hair was chemicaled, if you if you had a natural hair, then when you became a teenager like me, when I was in secondary, I I was my hair was was permed, so um it it's easier for your hair and you your hair gets a it it becomes how can I explain this in a really easy way? Okay, your hair gets. It gets to adapt to the kind of environment you put it to. Okay, obviously chemicals are not good. So your hair changes it. It changes and it it becomes like it adapts to that. So when you are changing to be a natural, if you're transitioning, like for me, I'm just going to be honest. When I cut my relaxed part, my hair was really really still wire and i had made myself to believe that my hair is forcing but soon after using this product having a regime is it a regime or a whatever regime with the use of products and being consistent my hair changed and it became soft and now i don't have any pro problems with my hair i hope this video was interesting i don't know I really have taken many takes and I I hope I have a good take good takes to post this video I hope this video was helpful if it was be sure to give a thumbs up of course subscribe and until the next time Merry Christmas